Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. I'm Carla. And I'm Todd. And today we're going to give you a tour of our 2014 Bigfoot 10-4. That's right, we did it again. If you've watched our channel long enough, you'll know that uh, we tend to change campers every year or two, and uh, so we bought another one. So um, we still have our Lance, but we bought this new to us uh, Bigfoot. And uh, so we're going to go on a little tour of that, let you check it out. We're going to start with the inside, and then we'll walk around the outside. So stick around. First we'll start by just doing a little walk around the outside so you can check it out and see what it is. And then we'll go on inside and Carla can show you around. Again, this is a 2014 Bigfoot 10.4 truck camper with the dry bath. And uh, we've looked at, at them for quite a while. We almost bought a new one a couple years ago, but we missed out. As soon as we got to the dealership, it was already sold. So. When we found this one, we decided to pick it up and let's try it out. It's a beautiful camper. It needs a little shine up and clean up, but other than that, uh, once we get that done, it'll look like new. That's the beautiful thing about fiberglass. So let's go on in and check it out. on in and let's check out the inside. So starting here at the front, we have a corner dinette and a corner kitchen. As you'll see, it's quite a bit smaller than our lamp, so it's going to take a little bit of getting used to here. Um, we do have tons of storage around the top. As Todd comes in, I'll open up and show you the storage areas. Um, the dinette tur does turn into a bed. I'm not sure of the length of the dinette, but it is for probably a child or a small person. Yeah, it definitely would be tight for an adult, but... Yeah. Um, there's storage underneath the dinette here, and then in the back side of that, there's storage from the outside, which Todd will talk about here in just a few minutes. There's a little storage area here, which is a little awkward to get to, but as you'll see, it is, it is some storage, so if you don't access it regularly, it probably would be a good place to put some stuff like that. One thing I really love about this kitchen is it has a ton of drawers in here. So you can put your cutlery, you can have junk drawers, you can have all kinds of stuff in them. It also has, you know, a drawer over here and a drawer here under the fridge. Those are big drawers too. Yeah, they're huge. Uh, they're not like the little short ones that you get. Yeah, it's another big drawer. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of storage in this camper. And they're also, as you'll see from the side, they're like the really nice wooden, you yeah, know, put together. They're made of plywood, not particle board. I mean, the cabinets in Bigfoot are great. They build a good quality cabinet uh, in their campers. One thing that actually drew us to this model of the Bigfoot is the panoramic windows that you see around here. Uh, the corner kitchen and the corner dinette. We just like this layout. Um, we actually did look at a 10-6 and the 10-6 has the center dinette and it's a little more enclosed. So we like the openness of this one. Um, this does, as I said before, this does have a ton of storage and we're still working out our storage situation. But um, you know, for now, this is how I've got everything organized. I just kind of pushed everything in here so we can 
quickly do this video, but um, has you know storage up above. It has uh, the, like I said, the storage down below the it's dinette. Got the skylight too, which yeah, we really got, like. Yeah, it's got the skylight mm -hmm. that we had in our previous Bigfoot. Yeah, we love the Bigfoot skylights. They're just so let a lot of light in. Yeah. Really nice. And then it also has the um, these shades with the day night shades. The day night shades, which. You know, those are pretty cool. I, I kind of wish these were a little bit darker, but you know, they work. Um, we may try to figure out a solution to make it a little bit darker in here at night because when daylight comes, Todd wakes up. So. Yeah, or at least in the bed area. Yeah, at least in the Out bed. Out here in the dining area, it's not bad, but in the bed area could be a little darker, it'd be nice. Yeah, and, and like I said, another thing that drew us to this was the, I, I really like the corner kitchen. I like the big double bowl sink. I, I like the sink in the uh, Lance as well because it's big. Um, the the newer Bigfoots have a, a circular sink, which I've never tried. I'm, you know, I'm sure they work just fine, but I really like this kind of sink. Uh, more storage underneath here. Um, keep in mind that we're still working out our storage situation, so. And it goes, it goes quite a bit a ways back in there under the... It's probably dark, probably can't really yeah, see that Yeah, I can't really well. see it. But you got a cupboard over there by the door. Too. Yeah, there's this. And it's more of like a standing thing, sort of like a pantry, I guess you could use it for. And the quick disconnect for the battery is down there in the corner. Quick disconnect for the battery. It has also has outdoor lighting, passenger. Yeah driver and rear yeah on all three or both sides and the back which I, I do love that you can really light it up around the campground yeah and um one other cool thing about this one that we also have in the lance is the plug up here for the coffee maker um we can sit our coffee maker here which we did whenever we were bringing it home we we did a little trip on the way home and um there someone put it looks like someone put a tv cable here I don't know that we'll put a TV here, um, but we'll we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it looks like they did it so you could set one on the counter. Yeah. But uh, it's a good idea. Maybe yeah. we'll use it. And it also has a um, pretty good bit of storage up here. We're... Uh, um, one thing about it is the coffee maker does not stand up for storage, so I'm thinking that we put it in the bathroom to store it as we're traveling, but we'll figure that out at some point still new to us so yeah um it has the oven which if you, you've seen some of our videos in the past you know that i really enjoy having an oven on the road i like to be able to cook stuff it's come in handy so many times and i honestly use the oven way more than i do the microwave like i don't even hardly i think though i've only used the microwave one time in the lance so i i really enjoy having an oven we may change it out for a newer oven at some point, but that's not necessary. I mean, it, it works just fine the way it is. Um, the vent hood, which doesn't have the built-in things like the other. Oh, yeah, that was, too bad. Yeah, the levels are here. Yeah, the meter. Yeah, the levels test. And the water pump is here. Um, one thing about this is that it does not have a, is it an electric or gas water heater? It's gas. It does not have electric. It's not a two-way. It's it just, does, just gas. It does not have the electric water heater, so it's just gas. We're, yeah. it's, that's taking a little bit to get used to yeah, as well. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. It is nice to be able to run an electric when you're plugged in somewhere. And the refrigerator is a two-way, not a three-way. So it runs on propane and... D, is it DC? Uh, no, it's AC and, AC. and uh, you know, shore power. Shore power. Right, yeah. AC and gas. <laughs> uh, AC there. and gas, yeah. yeah. So here, let's turn around and check that out. Yeah. It's got the six cubic foot refrigerator, which I, I enjoy this size of refrigerator. I think it's ample for what we need it for. Yeah, it works fine. We can get a lot of food in there. Yeah, and this, the inside of this camper is just really clean. It's a, we got a good one, I it, think. Yeah, it's in great shape. Yeah, it's got the, I don't know how many BTU. I believe it's an 11,000 BTU. 11,000 BTU AC. Mm -hmm. It works really well. We, we used it on our trip and it, it worked really well. That's the one thing we love about the Bigfoot is 
how well it's insulated. It's uh, it just stays really comfortable in here. Yeah. Um, moving on to another reason why we like this camper is the dry bath. This dry bath is awesome, and I'm not going to be able to stand here while Todd shows it to you because it is kind of a tight spot. But one thing I want to point out while I'm standing here is that you can use this space as a changing room. Yeah, and just leave the door open. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. So I kind of like that, but yeah. I'll let Todd show you the, the bathroom because it's kind of tight and cold. It's got the porcelain toilet here. And as you'll also see, one other cool thing about this is the ducted heat got ducted heat throughout in the bathroom and yeah the ducted heating is one thing I love about these big butts our Lance has ducted heating as well which definitely drew me to that mm -hmm. as well versus like our northern light just, that just had a central furnace here's the storage in here and that's pretty big too that's where I was talking about storing our yeah there's measure. a lot of storage under the sink and a decent sized vanity top storage up top and a mirror and a just a typical bathroom fan nothing nothing great there but fiberglass shower it already had a really cool oxygenics shower head in it which that's like one of the nicest ones you can get and it works great you didn't have to upgrade that <laughs> so here's the fiberglass shower molded unit the whole thing is it's got the Pull out door, squeaky door deal, which is nice. It has the skylight in it, so it adds for more headroom as well as light. And then there is a light in the bathroom as well, or in the shower as well. There's actually two lights here. There's one on the ceiling, one above the sink, and then a third one in the shower. Next, let me show you the awesome wardrobe with the cedar lined area in it. Um, this is one thing that we're really enjoying about this camper. It that we really liked about our first Bigfoot. And um, we also have had one in the Northern Light, but we did not have one in the Lance. It's kind of in line with the, the walkway, so you can quick easily access it. Put your hanging stuff in it like jackets and coats and that kind of thing um you know that's that's why we like having this kind of um wardrobe and then there's another storage area down here um i could probably put some canned food or something in there there's a step here but it does not open up but it's, it's a nice a, big step it's a nice though. big step and then there's a tailor window which yeah dog window Every dog loves a dog window. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call it. <laughs> yeah. Funny story of when we first went to pick the camper up, we let Taylor in and she ran in and jumped up on the bed. She was like smiling from ear to ear and wagging her tail. It was really funny. I think she liked it because she could get on the bed and the yeah. Lance, it just didn't work out for her. She couldn't jump that high. It's not easy for her to get up there, but she did it that first time. I don't know if she'll ever do it again, but we'll see. Um, all right, moving on to the bed area. Um, we're, we're going to put our Froley in right now. It's not in here yet, but we're going to put that in. We're also going to put the Betty on it. Um, we just set it up for temporary use while we were traveling back home with it. But, um, it's a queen size bed. It's not a full queen size bed. It's, uh, the short queen. So Todd's feet stick off a little bit here yeah. whenever it was just, he, he actually fits on it. But at night, he kind of scoots down. It's just a natural thing. Yeah, it's you know, a 74 inch RV queen, they yeah. call it. Yeah. So it's a little short, but yeah. it's okay. Yep. And then it has a, a drawer and a little uh, area here. I'll scoot back so you can. Okay. And then there's a TV, um, what do you call that? TV mount, mount here. Doesn't have a TV in. We'll probably get one at some point, but right now there's not a TV in here. It has. Right. Uh, we don't really watch much TV when we're yeah, camping. Yeah, we, we don't really watch much TV when we're camping, so occasionally we will if there's some cable there. There's plugs over there. Um, there is kind of a lack of USB ports in here, but it is from 2014, so I think they didn't 
put as many in it back then, but we're gonna make some additions and, and do Matter that. Matter of fact, I don't think there's any USBs yeah, that came in factory. I think we should replace these that have the, you know, with some that have little USBs in them, but we'll, we'll look at stuff like that. Some. Um, we kind of like these areas because we can use them to put our laundry in. Yeah. Dirty clothes. Dirty clothes. <laughs> yeah. Then it also has these, which is a bonus because this is not something we've had in the past or little cabinets that we can, you know, maybe like if we go on a long trip, we can put our clothes in there that we're not using at the time. Has it on both sides. And then it also has one of these that's kind of like inner lance. Yeah. Um, I like that they've already, the, the people who owned it before, they put uh, shelves in there. I'd like to add some more shelving into maybe the wardrobe area, but like half of it and leave half of it for hanging stuff, but. Yeah, we got some projects coming. Yeah. <laughs> yep, just kinda stuff to make it our own. Has the, the little curtain that you can close it off to make privacy yeah. for whenever Todd gets up early in the morning and I'm still in bed. Yeah. And the former <laughs> owner, has already re replaced all the bulbs with LEDs. Yeah, so, so in all nice. these. Except for, I think, the reading lights over the bed. But I think those are pretty um, nice. The one in the center is an LED, but the other ones, I think, are these standard. these like, super hot. Um, but all the rest of them have yeah. LED bulbs, so that's yep. good. We don't have to do that. Yep. So um, I think that's the inside. I'm sure I've missed something, but um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below and uh, I'll let Todd show you the outside. All right well I'm going to show you around the outside and uh, we are still learning this camper because we just got it so I, I may not have all the answers to it so if you have some questions you can post it below and uh, I'll try to find out and uh, respond to you but uh, let's just take a little tour around and check it out. So in the front as we did mention on the inside is you can see what we call the dog window. And uh, so we do like that just for Taylor because she likes to peek out at it uh, while we're camping. Um, this is a molded fiberglass. It's a two-part fiberglass camper. It's kind of like two boats put together top and bottom. That's one thing we love about it. There's no seams on top. Uh, there's not a bunch of screws or anything like that on top or around the roof or uh, under the belly or anything like that. So we just tend to love fiberglass campers. We've had several of them and we just wanted to go back and uh, get another one. And uh, we, we've loved this model Bigfoot, so we're gonna try it out. So that's what this camper's made of, two-piece molded fiberglass. Now we did have to add the uh, Happy Jack swing out brackets when we got it. The camper jack was just mounted straight to the, the body. So we had to add that in order for it to fit on our dually. They're called the dually brackets. The dually brackets, the dually swing out brackets. Yeah made by Happy Jack. We get the key out here, and uh, this is the propane area. This actually does have a key on it. I think they're not supposed to have a key on it. It's got a latch on one side. So just standard 20 pound, two 20 pound tanks. Uh, nothing special there, standard stuff. They do have the things that hold the doors open. Yeah, all the doors do have the little clips that hold the doors open. Uh, not quite as nice as our Lance that has the magnetic deal, but hey, it does the job, right? So it's fine. Um, it does have the, the lights on uh, both sides and the back, so I do like that. Refrigerator vent and the fan vent. And this would be the generator area, but we do not have a generator in this model. So it has become our outdoor grill area. <laughs> So we just we just we're gonna store our, our grill in there. It has a gas line, uh, however, it does not have a quick connect for uh, hooking up the grill. I'm gonna add that. I got a hose right there. I gotta put the fitting on there. So um, so it is nice to have a generator on board, uh, which we do have on our Lance, but this one didn't have it, and that's okay because we don't really boondock that much. Uh, we'll probably just get a portable one uh, in case we do go boondocking, uh, but not a big deal. Down here are the batteries. <clears throat> There's two batteries. I don't really even know what they are. Um, I, 
is a pull out thing. I don't know if the former owner built this or if it came like that from Bigfoot. I, I really don't know. But it's got two batteries in there. They're sealed batteries. I don't know if they're AGMs or what whatnot. I need to check that out a little bit more and look into that. But uh, you know, so far it's good. You know, this is a 2014, so we do need to get the outside polished up. It's it's still shiny, but it could be shinier. So we're gonna get our uh, uh, detailer guy, Tyler Bennett, that's done a couple of our other campers. He's gonna come out and he's gonna polish it up and it's gonna look like new. So, oh yeah, <clears throat> it does have a 10 foot uh, manual awning outside. And- uh, That Carla broke. Yeah, Carla broke. <laughs> First time she tried to put it out too far. <laughs> But it's okay. Well, I kind of fixed it, but I still need to try to order the part if I can find it. Uh, one thing I, I'm pointing out that I do like about these campers is that, as you can see here, is the refrigerator, but it's got a roof vent. So the heat from the refrigerator will rise and go out. Instead of having an upper side vent where it's got to cycle through, I think, in my opinion, the, the roof vents for refrigerators uh, seem to help the refrigerator stay a little bit uh, cooler because the heat gets out easier, heat rises. So, uh, you know, that's just a little good thing about it. So uh, the the Bigfoot, the 2500 series uh, camper that Bigfoot offers, which is what this is, uh, it's the, has the extra thick insulation and it also has the thermal pane windows as well. So it really helps keep it comfortable inside. Let's walk around back. This camper does have the standard Happy Jack legs that raises and lowers the, the whole camper, and they are remote control, so that is nice. As well as uh, it has LED lights all the way around, so all of the, the rear lighting and all of the marker lights all are LED, which is really nice. Around back here, we do have another awning, and it's a manual awning as well. Um, it comes out seven or eight foot, something, something like that. It's pretty easy to put out, uh, not too difficult. And then, yeah, as you can see, it's got two windows as well as the the window in the door, which we may change that out to a clear window. That'd be nice. Um, so it's got, you know, plenty of visibility from the inside and it's got the light out there. It does have a uh, backup camera on it. I don't know if that was, original or if that was installed later, uh, but it works pretty well. Yeah. And then it, one thing I like about the Bigfoot, it has a big platform bumper and it feels very solid. As some of you know, if you've watched our videos before, you'll know that we had a 2019 Northern Light, which we did love, great camper. Um, however, that bumper I noticed would kind of flex a little bit when I was standing on it, but this thing is just like rock solid. They, that's a well-built bumper. It does have the steps that flip down and go in. So those are those are pretty easy. Um, I did notice underneath there's a, a track where you can actually slide the, the step over to the side. There's different positions where you can put the step. I haven't tried it yet, but I saw that you can do it. Uh, it does have the basement storage as well as the dump valves down here. In order to get to the basement storage, you have to remove the rear step. And in order to remove the rear step, you have to open the door. It's it's easiest. You don't have to, but oh. I might be able to. It's a little bit easier just to remove the, or open the door. Pull it off. Yeah. And then the basement has two locks on it, so let me get the key here again. There's a light down here as well. Not that it's gonna do much right now. But one thing we like about the, the Bigfoot basement is it has it's a whole molded fiberglass basement. It's not just exposed to the plywood or any, anything like that. So it's completely sealed as far as the floor and the walls. And uh, so I like that a lot about about the Bigfoot basement. And then line off there and then over here 
the, the gray and black valve area. Probably kind of hard to see in the camera. For those of you who are interested, here's a view of the roof of the camper. As you can see, it's all one piece fiberglass. And then, you know, you can see the skylight and air conditioner. And the former owner did add the vent covers, which I like. I think that's a good thing. That way, when it's raining, you can keep the vents open. So that's just about it for the back, other than, you know, it's got the heavy duty ladder and uh, the normal grab bar to, to get inside. So we're gonna go on around to the other side. Now, it does have storage here, storage there, and the power cord down there. Right, this is actually open. So as you can see, there's a large storage area there, and it's got a light. So, all that extra storage is really nice. And then <clears throat> it's got more storage down here. And this is all fiberglass uh, floor. <clears throat> and every, so, you don't have to worry too much about, you know, anything getting damaged down there as far as putting anything damp in there, you know. And, the out, some of the outdoor stuff, the pads and that sort of thing. And then it's got a big area for the, the cable. It has the older just pull out cable. It's not the detachable kind, so. Um, but that's fine with me. It actually works quite well. I kind of like the, the, the cable that does not detach because if I only need to pull out eight foot, then, you know, that's good. It's kind of worked for me. Uh, I like the screw on kind too, but I got to get the whole 25 foot cord out sometimes. So if just pulling, you know, eight or 10 foot out, it's kind of nice. Kind of, you know, if you clean it off, put it back in. So here's the, the gas furnace, pretty standard stuff here. The six gallon uh, gas water heater, the, the outdoor water connection. This is the the city connection and the tank fill and then of course the outdoor shower everybody's seen one of those pretty much it's got a sewer hose holder that is virtually useless the you useless can't sewer hose holder. yeah, yeah you, you can't get a can't get a decent hose and put it in there then it's got the uh, black tank flush as well talk about the windows what kind of windows are they yeah as I mentioned earlier, it does have thermal pane windows and they have a coating on them that's a reflective coating to help keep the heat out as well. So yeah, they're, they're kind of interesting windows. This camper is a 25C 10.4. It's built in August of 2013 and it's a 2014 model. It says here camper weight is 3,090 pounds maximum weight when contains standard equipment. So that probably does not include the air conditioner and I don't know what else. So it's probably, you know, 32, 3,300 pounds or so altogether. As I was saying earlier, that it's a molded fiberglass camper, right? So yeah, as you can see down here, the, the whole belly of it is all one piece. So there's, there's not separate sections. Now it does have an access panel here in order to get, I think, to, I haven't taken this off yet, I think to get to the tanks and uh, maybe some wiring or whatever is in there. The Bigfoot also does have a, an access panel on the, on the bottom. So if you need to get to that, you can actually pull the, the bottom panel off to, to get to stuff, which I do like that. Um, in case you do need to get in there, you know, then uh, you got a way to actually do it instead of crawling through the basement like I've had to do before. <laughs> I did want to point out that we do not haul the camper on this little trailer. This little trailer we are only using to put the camper in and out of our garage at the moment. We typically would store it on the other side of the garage, but we have our Lance truck camper in there. And the other side of the garage is the only side that we can put the camper on the back of the truck and get it in, get it in and out. So 
We're just using that to get our Bigfoot in and out of the garage at the moment. We do not haul the camper on this trailer. I would never do that. So just want to point that out. And uh, it works good, though, to get it in and out of the garage. So that wraps up our tour of our new to us Bigfoot. We've been uh, looking at these Bigfoot truck campers for quite some time now. Um, hoping to one day possibly get one and here it is. Yeah, we're excited to uh, camp in it and try it out. Uh, so far, we do love it. It is, you know, a little bit older. Uh, so there are some things that we're gonna do to it. And uh, we have some plans and we got some upgrades and you know, some things we wanna do. And so at least with it being a little older, we don't feel so bad if we do change some stuff up. Yeah. So th that should be kind of fun. And uh, I, we know that the video is kind of long, so, so thank you for uh, sticking around. If you're still here watching, appreciate that. And uh, maybe give us a thumbs up if you, if you can. It'd be great. But I uh, hope you enjoy the tour of the Bigfoot 10.4. And uh, we'll see you next time on Runway Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.